Hello, I'm a Nostalgia Critic. I remember it so you don't have to. Well, every year I always do some sort of special Halloween episode, but this year, fuck it. I'm doing the entire month, so get ready, kids. All through October, you're going to experience Nostalgia-ween! <laughs> to start off this terrifying month and with a terrifying movie. No, not really scary, just terrifying. Let's take a look at Ernest Scared Stupid. The last Ernest movie to be shown in theaters, and by God, you can see why, Ernest Scared Stupid certainly lives up to its title. It has Ernest, it's stupid, and it's scary in its own right, in that the idea of sitting through this ass testicle of a movie scares the living shit out of me. So let the bitching hour commence. This is Ernest Scared Stupid. So the credits open with Ernest, played again by Jim Varney, as he reacts to cheesy scary movies that are probably more entertaining than this cheesy scary movie. Wait a minute. Who the fuck's that guy? What, did one of the stagehands save the director's life so he promised him a pointless one second in a movie? Doesn't even make sense. I mean, if I, for one second, changed into somebody else, would it add up? Oh, Batman. No, no it wouldn't. As the credits continue, we see that the movie was written by John Cherry and Coke Sams. So yes, this movie was officially written by Cherry Coke. That's how strange an experience we're in for, folks. We're in a movie written by a soda. Fasten your seatbelts. So we open with a girl being chased by the evil dead monster as it finally quarters her up against a tree. For smiling! <laughs> but the monster is captured and buried under an oak tree because maybe he makes good fertilizer. As we cut to years later, where Ernest P. Whirl now has a job as a garbage truck driver. <laughs> hey, this movie might have a happy ending after all. I was wondering why the running time was only two minutes. <laughs> Yes, even God wants you dead, Ernest. That'll teach you for saying Mellow Yellow is better than Mountain Dew. Grimshot, help do something! Grimshot! No! Shut them all down! Hurry! Uh, uh, this shit open it! Way to go, you did it! No need to thank me, little lady. Just some routine hero work. You know, we're gonna have a hard enough time stomaching Varney's impressions, kid. I don't think we need your help. <laughs> oh, I see. I guess the stop button calls the stage hand to push the prop out. <laughs> so after that, Ernest is assigned to clean out the yard of a crazy old lady who I think lives in the anus of that garbage monster from Fraggle Rock. Will, nobody home. For my property! Marty! I've transformed myself into a withering black lady! Ma'am, I'm just here to pick up all this garbage. Got no garbage here? Actually, that's Eartha Kid, and she doesn't seem very happy to see Ernest on her property. You will bring down the curse on us all! Woe to you, O you see the world! Get out of here and don't come back! That was Catwoman, everybody! Adolescents around the world used to jerk off to that. Ah! Pretty scary scream, huh? My heart was in my throat. You have a rare gift. Wait, why was she screaming again? That makes no sense. Let's look at the script. Just says here, poorly done transition. P.S. I wish that Santa guy was in this one. So the kids of the neighborhood are putting together a haunted house. Or rather, a haunted box. But the evil bullies come to mess up their fun. I'll show you by running away some more! So they tell Ernest about their bully problem to see if there's anything he can do to help. You need to learn a self-defense lesson from Tiny Botswana, that plucky little nation that defeated the giant Ottoman Empire. It was a dark night in Lower Botswana. Giant huh? Bula Bula flies drone. Uh, no, sorry. Cinema Snob already reviewed Caligula. And besides, I don't want to see you naked. Ah! 
You know, it's like one of those guys from an amusement park that tries way too hard to entertain the kids. You know, to the point where they're terrified of him. He got a merit badge in wholesale slaughter. I don't even get it. Is the kid waiting patiently while he goes to change into every costume? What's the logic behind this? Romans, Botswanian, lend me your tree. There ain't no trees in Botswana. Yes, you have costumes. Stop it now. Go make a difference in somebody's life. Way to go, Ernest. Do you smell fish? It's not funny. 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 So they decide to relocate their haunted house to a treehouse. And of course, knowing Ernest, he picks the only one that happens to be the burial ground of an evil satanic demonic being. Really? Those are the effects we're going to be seeing throughout this movie? See more frightening images in a Count Chocula commercial! Laura! A whole world of trees, and you had to pick this one. Flee the evil place! Flee! <sighs> How did she go from cat woman to cat lady? Uh-oh, the prototypes for Bulk and Skull have arrived. But it's okay, this time the kids come prepared. Got him in my sights? talks with the Eartha Kit lady and, for some stupid reason, actually tells him how to summon the troll. Why would she tell him that? He can only be awakened on the night before Halloween. Like tonight. When a whorl. Like you. Places his hand on a tree, like this, and says, Yea, I call thee forth, Trantor. So this, of course, summons the troll named Trantor. <laughs> eh, that's not very impressive. Now Trogdor? That would be awesome. Trogdor! So the troll comes to life and starts turning the children into little wooden dolls, because that somehow gives him his power. I'm a bad troll. Ernest, of course, sees the troll and tries to get some help nearby. Sheriff! Sheriff Binder! Ah! Open up! Sheriff Binder, open up, please! Is this whole help. mission in this movie to eat the Sheriff fucking Binder, camera? Help. Whoa, 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 Ernest, slow down. What happened? Ernest, you know what time it is. Maybe old lady Hackmore was right. Maybe it was a troll. Luckily, I was there to beat it within an inch of its face. Wait, hold him. Hold uh, him. what's up with the sudden handheld camera? I feel like we're on an episode of Cops. and the kids out there trespassing on that old lady's land. Yeah, but what happened? That and... Have you realized there's no edits in this scene? We don't see anything else except for the front door. What, could they only afford one corner of the house to film in? Talk about it was huge. We let this great big head and teeth. Good night, Ernest. Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. So the troll heads back to the tree so that he can use the doll to somehow bring the other trolls to life. Look at him. He looks like a caricature of Mickey Rourke playing Willow. Oh, my children. So while Ernest runs around acting like an idiot, big shock, we see the chubby guy and his old skinny brother from the other Ernest movies make their cameos again. The only strange thing is, that's not the chubby brother. Where'd he go? They were usually the funniest part of the films. Oh well, who knows, maybe this guy's funnier. Bella comes in here the other day and he says to me, well, Tulip Brothers give me a good deal on an outboard motor and some taxidermy supplies, and I said, does a fat puppy hate fast cars? Or maybe I'd rather be castrated than listen to him anymore. So the kids talk about whether or not it's possible that Ernest actually did see a troll. Come on, there's no such thing as trolls. But Ernest saw something out of the tree, and he's never lied to us before. Yeah, but he's also gotten a million things wrong. I don't know. You're not scared, are you? 
Eh, it's been a while. Let's see Jim Varney and Eartha Kitt try to outmuck each other again. The trove is getting stronger. He has one child already. Spaw! By now. Just the kids. Listen to the last two lines. Is it weird to say that she looks like Chester A. Bum's grandmother? Hooray! I'm a biracial half-feline cat person! How come I'm not more surprised? So Ernest sets up a trap for the troll before he drops the two kids off at their home. Just leave the troll fighting to us. Come on, my dad. Tell me what to do. What about the party? You stay here tonight. Where did that come from? She never expressed any interest in him before, it just sort of came out of nowhere. In fact, I don't even think that was in the script. I think she's just a horny girl. I mean, look at the boy's face. He's totally shocked when she does it. He didn't know it was coming. Uh, just go with it, Austin. We'll edit it out in post. So as the girl relaxes at home, dreaming of spontaneous boy sex, she can't help but feel a predictable jump scare is about to attack her. Oh, Smuffies, it's just you. He's on the bed, he's on the bed, he's on the bed, he's on the bed, he's on the bed. They're eating her! And then they're going to eat me! And he's not done with just her. Soon he starts going after other children as well. So he runs away from the troll in the hopes of giving him the slip. He's behind him. 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 Oh, what a shot! He's behind him. After the boy finally outruns him, it looks like Ernest might have finally caught the troll in his trap. So he goes to the police to show them the evil, nasty, dangerous troll. Slowly, slowly. Actually, it's just two kids dressed as trolls who fell in there. Yeah, didn't see that one coming, did ya? This finally pisses off his boss as he fires him from his garbage truck job. But does that stop the annoyingly persistent Ernest? I've never been a quitter. Why? I've never known when to quit. Just ask my fourth grade teacher. He never knew when to quit. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's one funny scene. So his scared shitless action set is almost complete as he tries to get rid of the only person who apparently can stop him. <laughs> Good God, he looks like the love child of Large Marge and Gimli. How are we supposed to be afraid of him? <laughs> so as Rimshot drives the car, are you really questioning this? Ernest has a fight scene in the back and manages to toss him off. Why doesn't he just put it in reverse? Oh hey, a smart moment! Those are rare! <sighs> Why is this thing so hard to stop? I mean, in the opening he was caught by a net! A fucking net! And here, even the goddamn pickup truck can't stop him! Was he bench pressing all those years he was under that tree? <laughs> So he makes it back to Kit's house as they come across the page that says how to defeat the troll. Could've used that a little earlier, huh? You know, for a woman who knows everything about these monsters, she sure did overlook the page about how to stop them. What, was the book just not sucking her in? Did it lose its edge in the last few pages? Thou canst destroy the troll with... Uh, M... R... Uh, something K. Yeah, milk. It's so obviously milk. Medic? That's it. Authentic Bulgarian meat. Look, you don't have to be a Wheel of Fortune wizard to figure this out. It's fucking milk! Gotta go! Alright, so they make it to the school where they think the troll is going to get his last victim when... this happens. 
This thing looks silly and I'm not gonna wear it. Don't you talk back to me. Now you march right in there. I hate you. Well, I'm not too fond of you either. Mommy, I'm sorry. I love you. I love you too. Bipolar, the family. Seriously, what was up with that one minute episode of Seventh Heaven? What? That wasn't unconditional. She hated the costume, she hated the kid. They had to apologize to make it better. It was based entirely on conditions! Fuck it, let's move on. Ernest runs into the Halloween pageant, hoping to save the kids from the troll's next attack. Ew! Scary costume. I know a dork when I see one. <laughs> Zoom, you cock-sucking motherfucker! Zoom! You're history, pal. You're Elvis. I'm ready for you. Let's see how you like a little meak. Meak? Yeah, meak. I bet you thought I couldn't find any this time of year. Well, you know, I'm just gonna spend this part of the movie looking out what meak is. So come on. Sam. So come on. Oh. A rare, slightly antiquated beverage generally produced in Bulgaria, which may or may not be fictional. God damn it, movie! Your fucking fictional beverage is more entertaining than you are! <laughs> so, of course, the Miak doesn't work, but he's scared away by the ice cream. Why? Because it's so obviously milk! Yeah. Yeah. Rimshot. Rimshot, old boy. That's Rimshot? You sure it wasn't just one of his petrified leavings or something? So Ernest is out for revenge as the boy figures out what everybody else has 20 minutes ago. Mother's care. Milk. That's it. Milk. You may think you're strong now, but I'm drinking my milk which will allow me to grow strong bones, clear skin, and of course, make me totally invincible to all satanic troll attacks. What? <laughs> Milk, it keeps you safe from all satanic troll attacks. So the people of the village all head out there to stop the troll just as he puts the final child in the tree. <laughs> Where was I? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's time for troll squish kebab. So Ernest tries to squash the troll, but again, it doesn't work. Too bad there wasn't a fucking net in there. But it doesn't matter. The other trolls are born and run a rampage on the villagers. Look out! We're being attacked by Rob Zombie's DeviantArt page. Worrell selects a ball and steps to the line. It looks like a tricky 7 pin split. Uh, people are probably dying, Ernest. Could you hurry up with your funny little speech there? <laughs> so while being harassed by rejected garbage pail kids, a bunch of the school children pop up with their secret weapon. No. You sure this milk thing's gonna work? Better find out. Let's do a body good, boys. Works, Dad, it really works! <laughs> I guess they were lactose implodable. Hey, butt bread. Got milk, motherfucker! So unfortunately, he teams up with Ernest and his multiple personality disorder to spread the milk on all the trolls. Hairspray will fix anything. You know, we could utilize our time a little better if you did less mugging. Oh. Oh. Hold on, Dad! Get your daily intake of calcium, bitches! So all the trolls are destroyed except for Trantor, who used all his evil powers to grow... ...a whole three inches taller! Ah! I grown too strong for that. Not even milk can stop me now. Well, that's a villainous catchphrase you don't hear very often. <laughs> eh, 
always said his acting was wooden. So Ernest is up against the troll himself, as he somehow figures out that the only way to defeat him is unconditional love. Come on, little fella. That's just silly. Of course, showing unconditional love to kill your enemy. That's the ultimate weapon of destruction, peace and love. What am I missing here? So the children return back to normal as they fly into the arms of their parents. That was really weird. Mom. Uh, need to wear depends there, Madre? Or were you really just scared shitless? Even some children that were taken years ago were released as well. Sister Frances? Is that you? My sister, my sister, oh. You have quite a bit of adjusting to do. Your years of absence will lead to much psychological scarring, but we'll talk about that later. Welcome back. What's the matter, Ernest? There's nothing in that tree for me. <laughs> what about Rimshot? Rimshot will live. And you know where we're going? We're going for a ride on the drug and we're going to be having fun at home and, and, and we'll eat nothing but the best kind of and you know the top of the Well, I'm glad you could sit through it, folks. I know I couldn't have. Tell you what, complimentary milk duds on me. So that's Ernest Scared Stupid, and boy, is it stupid. I mean, even if you don't like the other Ernest movies, you can sense there's a passion and energy to them. Like the people were at least having fun while making it. Sadly, you don't get that here. Everything seems forced, tired, and even unpleasant. It's definitely the weakest of the films released in theaters, and apart from some of Eartha Kitt's overacting, it's pretty forgettable. Jim Varney, God bless him, I'm sure he's trying, but he just needed better direction. It's that horrible combination of boring and unpleasant. In fact, Ernest Scared Boring probably would have been a more appropriate title. But what can you do? I'm a nostalgia critic, and stay tuned. More nostalgia ween is on the way! <laughs>